a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning, then showers and thunderstorms likely in the afternoon. Thursday night, east winds 5 to 10 knots. Bay and inland waters light chop. Showers likely. Thunderstorms likely, mainly in the evening. Friday, east winds 5 to 10 Okay, so, uh... Today is September 27th on the day I was filming when all this happened. When everything else happened, well, it wasn't like this on the day before it was. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for. And now I'll tell you all what has happened over the past four days or so on September 24th or 25th, but no alerts on the 26th, but I do get some alerts on the 27th. Service for Marine Warning for Charlotte Harbor. For many of you that are watching this, the random amount of alerts I get is it's just random. Everything is just random now afterwards because and and tomorrow is officially the one year anniversary ever since ever since Hurricane Ian hammered hammered this area in uh, last year. And it's pretty much absurd that, we, that I'm getting a random amount of alerts that I get every, every single alert after alert. Key West, on the other hand, is just... Key West, on the other hand, has gotten even more crazy than it was before. It wasn't like that since July it happened. So we all, we know what we always get before. It's just, just, just to the amount of alerts, but even a test alerts we can count as, but even though we can get some more alerts, but we'll see what happens in the near future. And of course, for those of you that are wondering, we, I, I know we always get SVRs. <laughs> and like as always, SMWs. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for. And of course, there's also one typical SVR that I never thought that Key West would definitely issue. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for. Well, it is now that time again, y'all, that this will be my third chapter. Yeah, this is definitely my third chapter of what has happened. Since on September 25th, a marginal convective risk was put in place for our coverage area, which is obviously ridiculous. But we still get some awards from that marginal convective, that's why. So, and of course, and anyways, what you're all about to watch in this premiere is that this will be my third chapter of this marginal this is definitely my third installment of my of my third chapter of this marginal insanity series I'm telling y'all that this this type of marginal insanity has officially broke out A little more than ever. So prepare yourselves, people, that it is time for Marginal Insanity Chapter 3.
Weather Service in Key West has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Lower Keys in Monroe County. What? Whoa, whoa, it's hold up. 54 p.m. A severe thunderstorm warning in Key West. Key or near Key West, moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Key West, Boca Chica Channel Bridge, Boca Chica, Big Papa Key, Fleming Key, Key Haven, Sunset Key, and Shark Key. This includes S1 between mile marker 0 and 9. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. An SVR from Key West? These are the seven. How is that possible? How is this possible? Miles until Wait, 9 30 p.m. Isn't that a fail? 8.49 p.m. Severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 9 nautical miles southwest of D Tower to 11 nautical miles north of Horseshoe Key, moving northeast at 30 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Middle Cape Sable. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. The following is a... Well, hello, MFL. Didn't see you in quite a while. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a special marine warning for coastal waters from Chakalosky to Bonita Beach, Florida, about 20 nautical miles. Coastal oh, what? Oh, there it is. At 9.30 p.m., strong thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 10 nautical miles northwest of D Tower to near Middle Cape Sable, moving northeast at 20 knots. Hazard, wind gusts to 40 knots. Source, Coastal radar. waters from Chakalosky to Bonita Beach. Craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include Chakalosky, Big Lostman Bay, Shark Point, Northwest Cape Sable, Middle Cape Sable, D Tower, Highland Point, and Whitewater Bay. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Frequent lightning is occurring with these storms. If caught on the open water, stay below deck if possible. Keep away from ungrounded metal objects. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. The following is a marine. Yeah, I just got a marine warning. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Bayside and Gulf Sound. Are you serious, Key West? End of Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Bay, including Barn Sound, Blackwater Sound, and Buttonwood Sound until 10 p.m. At 9.35 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located 11 nautical miles west of Oxford Bank Light, moving northeast at 10 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, National Weather Service Meteorologist. Impact, expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include Oxford Bank Light, Frank Key, Carl Ross Key, Murray Key, East Cape Canal, Sandy Key, and First National Bank. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing light jackets. Intense and continuous lightning is occurring with this storm. Stay low, or go below. Lower VHF antenna, outriggers, fishing rods, and umbrellas. forecast.
broadcast for the following month. Well, I knew Florida Bay was going to come out. I knew Key West is going to do that again for Florida Bay. Issued a special marine warning for Hawk Channel and straight to Florida Bay. Oh, come on, Key West! 60 nautical miles, Florida Bay, including Barn Sound, Blackwater Just Sound, why, and Key West? Sound, until Just freaking why, Key? At 12 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located over South Rift, moving northwest at 20 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source. National Weather Service meteorologist. Impact. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots. Suddenly higher waves. Frequent lightning and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include Hens and Chickens Light, South Rips, Islamorada Hub, Davis Reef Light, Eagle Wreck, Conk Reef, and Alligator Reef Light. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. Intense and continuous lightning is occurring with this storm. Stay low, or go below. Lower VHF antenna, outriggers, fishing rods, and umbrellas. The next four tides at the north end of Naples Bay are high tide, Tuesday. Oh. Just why me, Kate? Why? Why does it have to be me, Kate? Why me? The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Bayside and Gulf Side from Craig Key to West End of Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Bay, including Barn Sound. Uh oh, it's water spout. Would sound until 11 p.m. It's a water spout. At 10.27 p.m., a strong thunderstorm with possible water spouts was located over Man of War Key, moving north at 20 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, National Weather Service meteorologist. That's a water spout. Water spouts can quickly form and capsize boats, cause considerable damage to vessels and create suddenly higher waves. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include Man of War Key, Frank Key, Tenkin Channel, Bowie Key, Murray Key, Snake Bite, and Little Rabbit Key. Prepare for wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, steep and fast building seas, frequent lightning, and blinding downpours. Stay low or go below, and make sure all on board are wearing life jackets. Intense and continuous lightning is occurring with this storm. Stay low or go below. Lower VHF antenna, outriggers, fishing rods, and umbrellas. The tropical weather. This is Key West's insanity. For sure. I swear to God, Key West, you're just going to keep on doing that. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Hawk Channel from Ocean Reef to West End of Seven Mile Bridge onto the reef, Bayside and Gulf Side from Craig Key to West End of Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Bay including Barn Sound, Blackwater Sound, and Buttonwood Sound. Straits of Florida from Ocean Reef to Craig Key out 20 nautical miles until 11.30 p.m. At 10.41 p.m., a strong thunderstorm was located over Alligator Reef Light, moving north at 15 knots. Hazard, wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, National Weather Service Meteorologist. Impact, expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include Coon Key, Whale Harbor, Duck Keys, Mosquito Point, Twin Keys, Florida Bay, and M Key. Intense and continuous lightning is occurring with this storm. Stay low or go below. Lower VHF 
VHF antenna, outriggers, fishing rods, and umbrellas. The National Weather Service in Key West has issued a special marine warning for Hawks. Key West. The end of Seven Mile Bridge out to the reef, Bayside and Gulf Side. Can you please chill with the SMWs, please? Oh, come on, Key West. issued a special marine warning for Bayside and Gulf Side from Craig Key to West End of Seven Mile Bridge, Florida Bay, including Vaughn Sound, Blackwater Sound, and but Oh boy. Until eleven thirty. If they report gusts of sixty two miles per hour, that's gonna support an SDR. Located near Sprigger Bank Light, moving north at fifteen knots. It says Isla Morada reports gusts of sixty two miles per hour. That's gonna support an SDR. National Weather Service meteorologist. Impact. Expect wind gusts in excess of 34 knots, suddenly higher waves, frequent lightning, and heavy downpours. Locations in the warning include... When was the last time Light, Florida Bay got Light, issued? Little Rabbit Key, First National Bank, Bradley Key, Man of War Key, and Frank Key. Intense and continuous lightning is There's occurring four. with this storm. Stay low or go below. Lower VHF antenna, outriggers, fishing rods, and umbrellas. Are the 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time Observation? Oh my god. Never gave me a break, do you? Civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Connecticut, all of District of Columbia, all of Delaware, all of Florida, all of Georgia, all of Indiana, all of Kentucky, all of Massachusetts, all of Maryland, all of Maine, all of Michigan, all of North Carolina, all of New Hampshire, all of New Jersey, all of New York, all of Ohio, all of Pennsylvania, all of Rhode Island, all of South Carolina, all of Virginia, all of Vermont. And all of West Virginia beginning at 11.01 a.m. and ending at 12.01 p.m. Test message pause open cap ASP configuration test message. Hendry. WGCU, Caleb's gonna get it too. severe weather mode. Okay, I'm going in warning mode right now. Expect wind damage to roofs. Sighting. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was Miami. Well, first blood from MFL. WGC. Yeah, I got it too. Yeah. yeah I'm looking. I oh. think I screen recorded. If I don't know if it's allowed to screen recorded. Yeah, thank you, Debra. Uh -huh. I mean, we got this thing right here. Oh, yeah, there's my location. Oh, Jacksonville's, Jacksonville's going to get a day four and day five. Oh, Key West got day five. Ooh. Wait, what you say something about the 300? Oh, yes, luckily. I already got that. <sighs> Luckily, I got an SVR for the river. MLB. That looks like a big line of storms moving into my area. As you guys all can see, this is getting bad. Summer Sport, Marine Morning, Bissot Harbor. Bro! I just knew it. I knew that was coming. I knew that was going to be for Charlotte Harbor. <laughs> Yeah, they did. It got turned over WWG 59 as well. Did you call it or not? Yeah, it did. Yeah, and it also turned over WXK as well. Until 5 a.m. It 
4.26 a.m., severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line extending from 38 mm, nautical up, miles southwest of San Abel to 15 nautical miles west of our tower, moving northeast at 25 knots. Hazard, water spouts and wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Source, radar. Impact, water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazard seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include our tower. Move to safe harbor until hazardous weather passes. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. Now for the official national... Well, what's up, NFL? After four in the morning. Till 6:45 a.m. At 5:51 a.m., severe thunderstorms capable of producing water spouts were located along a line oh, yeah, 27 nautical miles southwest of San Abel to 7 nautical miles northwest of our tower, moving north at 20 knots. Hazard: water spouts, wind gusts 34 knots or greater, and small hail. Source. Radar. Impact. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Small craft could be damaged in briefly higher winds and suddenly higher waves. Locations impacted include our tower. Boaters should seek safe harbor immediately until these storms pass. Wind gusts 34 knots or greater. Small hail, high waves, dangerous lightning, and heavy rain are possible with these storms. Thunderstorms can produce sudden water spouts. Water spouts can easily overturn boats and create locally hazardous seas. Seek safe harbor immediately. Report severe weather to the Coast Guard or the National Weather Service. You can also share your report with National Weather Service Miami on Facebook and Twitter. The Marine Forecast for the following Marine locations Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated only for warnings and selected watches affecting the South Florida counties. In addition to the regular alarm tone, the NOAA weather radio system is equipped with an additional warning service called SAME that is short for specific area message encoder. Unlike the normal tone of 1050 Hz, which activates all alarmable NWR radios monitoring the station, SAME allows people with a special receiver to be notified of watches and or warnings affecting only the county desired. SAME radios are especially useful for schools, hospitals, businesses, government agencies, and commercial radio and television. For more information regarding the same program, contact your local National Weather Service office. This is the voice of the National Weather Service. No well, there you have it. Now we're on TVW. Hope they don't fail.
warning system will alert only the county or counties affected by a particular warning. These tests are conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, and again between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m., a less severe weather threat. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to regular programming. CBW has done it. That's where. Ah. Now I got all that taken care of. See what comes next. <laughs> 